This will be spectacular. A mega rare cosmic event is going to grace the sky at the end of this month. Regular lunation, the moon's orbit of the Earth, follows a 29-day cycle. This is why, in general, there is usually one full moon a month. The lunar eclipse on January 30th, 2018, will be extra special as it will be twinned with another lunar event. Blue moons occur when there are two full moons in a month, usually at the beginning and very end. On January 31st, the lunar eclipse at the end of January will coincide with a blue moon for the first time in 152 years. Much of Asia, Australasia and Northwest America will get a quality view of the celestial event. Most of South America, Africa and Western Europe will not be able to see it. The rest of the world will have a limited view based on their location. And no, the moon's not actually blue. The naming, according to Farmer's Almanac, may have carried over from the Old English bilu, which means to betray. This probably was in reference to how a blue moon betrays a standard lunation. Lunarific Anybody up for some lunar cave diving? Scientists this week may have come across something that could lead to the first ever human outpost in space. A large and cavernous lava tube was this week confirmed to exist beneath the surface of the moon. These tubes are volcanic underground passages formed by flowing lava to funnel this substance. Once the flow stops, the tube remains with features similar to a cave. The discovery was made by a team of Japanese and American scientists who used data from the Selene and Grail spacecraft to acoustically map the enormous lava tube. The chasm is around 100 meters wide and 50 kilometers long and located in the Marius Hills region of the celestial body. It could provide shelter to astronauts during moon missions, protecting them from dangerous cosmic radiation. This could potentially allow for the development of a lunar exploration base. And that moon-based Homo sapiens could very well lead to a human colony. Water on the moon could fuel extended missions. Researchers at Brown University believe the moon's interior could be packed full of water. Water is found at the moon's poles, and scientists believe it exists there as a result of hydrogen brought by solar wind. However, according to a new study, magma eruptions from the moon's interior billions of years ago trapped water inside tiny beads of glass found in lunar rock. Satellite data collected by a lunar orbiter shows that these water-trapping glass beads are widespread on the moon's surface. Researchers have concluded that these water deposits are the result of magma that came from deep within the moon, meaning its interior must therefore contain water. Just how much water, however, is a question that no one can answer right now. But the researchers say future missions to the moon could potentially extract water from its surface, which would open the door to longer stays up there. China eyeing never-before-attempted moon landing. Beijing is reportedly planning a mission to the dark side of the moon this calendar year. The first part of China's Chang'e 4 lunar mission this year will see the PRC attempt to station a satellite some 60,000 kilometers over the dark side of the moon. Landing on the far side of the moon is difficult because it is not within view of Earth, so radio communication is impossible. The next part of the mission will see China use the satellite to navigate and land an unmanned spacecraft on the far side of the moon, something never attempted before. Do you think China will succeed? Great American Eclipse created bow waves in the atmosphere. Don't look at it, unless you're the president. The total solar eclipse in August of 2017 left bow waves in the Earth's upper atmosphere like a boat sailing through water. The bow wave theory says that a total solar eclipse will create high-pressure pockets under the moon's shadow that slice through low-pressure air as the shadow moves across Earth. These air pockets then generate small bow waves in the atmosphere. Researchers from MIT and University of Tromsø in Norway collected data from around 2,000 satellite sensors placed across North America and for the first time detected tiny bow waves in Earth's ionosphere. The researchers said their study reveals complex interconnections between the Sun, Moon and Earth's neutral atmosphere and ionosphere.